Just imagine that you too could be posting one video a day on YouTube and in just 10 months you could potentially earn enough money to say goodbye to your full-time job and live a life of financial freedom. And to make this even simpler for you, I've included a link in the description to a free downloadable guide. This guide will include everything you need to follow along with this video step by step, all the tools used, all the prompts used, everything. By the end of this video, you'll not only have your own monetizable faceless YouTube channel, but it will also be built using AI automation. And for proof of concept, check out this channel. They've also capitalized on quiz and riddle videos. This is a relatively new channel amassing millions of views. And as you can see with my vidIQ badge, they are indeed monetized. And there are many like this, all relatively new channels utilizing similar automation techniques. And this is just for the short form content. I'm also gonna be demonstrating how to create long form videos like these that are also getting millions of views. Can you imagine the AdSense revenue? So here's the plan. We'll create one long form video, then use AI to extract from this video relevant facts and information to create 10 short quiz videos. You see YouTube recently released a feature that allows short form viewers to be directed straight to your long form videos with a single tap. This strategy will capitalize on this new feature. And you may have noticed Andrew Huberman's self-improvement videos blowing up on YouTube lately. Well, they're not just blowing up, they're also generating thousands of dollars for the creators of these videos. Like this channel with over a million views on the top performing videos, according to Social Blade, they're generating upwards of $40,000 a month. So in the spirit of sticking to what has proven to work, I'm going to create my own channel, mimicking this successful channel, even repurposing their content. And don't worry, this is all perfectly legit, as I've done weeks of research determining what channels are monetized and successful, and what channels violate YouTube's repurposed content rules or repetitive content rules, making them unmonetizable. Channel creation. To simplify this process, you can use an existing channel's information such as their channel name and description. I just pop this information into ChatGPT and ask for 10 similar channel names and descriptions. After you've chosen a good channel name and come up with a good description, then you're going to want to create a logo. The best free options to accomplish this are Ideogram, Bing's image creator that uses DALI 3, and Leonardo AI. To get the prompts to use in your AI art generator of choice, simply ask ChatGPT to give you ideas for your channel logo written out as prompts to use in a text-to-image art generator. These prompts will work best in Ideogram Program, Bing's Image Creator, or DALI 3 within ChatGPT, as they are capable of incorporating clean text into your image. And next, you'll want to continue with branding by creating your YouTube channel's banner. For this, you want to head over to Canva. They do offer a 30-day free trial for new users. Once here, select the YouTube banner template, choose a design you like, add simple text representing your channel and brand image, then simply resize, drag everything to the center, and there you go easy. And finally, you're ready to head back to YouTube. Click on branding and upload your new logo and banner. Then click publish and boom, our channel is now live. So let me know in the comments, do you think my new channel will actually make some money or flop? Okay, let me show you how to repurpose somebody's content the right way. You'll start by finding the video you want to use on YouTube, then select the share tab and copy its link. Take this link to YouTube transcript. Paste the link here and this will quickly transcribe the entire script for you. All right, the next step is to gather up some B-roll footage that we can use to make this video our own. And this can be accomplished basically one of two ways. You could watch your video through, taking note of the B-roll used in the form of searchable keywords, for example, lifting weights, herbal medicine, running outside, etc. And then gather up free stock videos from Canva or other sites like Pixels or rawpixel.com. Your other option would be to sign up for NVIDIA AI, as I have done, and let the AI do the work. This will cost you $25, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. Using this method, we'll go back to the script generated by YouTube Transcript, copy this, and drop it into a Google Doc. Copy roughly the first half of this video script, as NVIDIA won't accept this much text. Then, back in NVIDIA, you can select Create AI Video, starting from scratch. Then just paste your script in the box here and select Workflow. Then YouTube Explainer, which will bring you here. Now you can select the drop down arrow and choose how long you want the video to be. Between five and seven minutes is plenty for this method. Then again, paste your script in the box. And here you can also give special instructions like make it funny or engaging, whatever you like. You can choose the kind of background music. Then you can select the gender and the voice, which actually doesn't matter for what I'm doing because I'm gonna remove this music and voiceover regardless. And now this is very important. You want to select the drop down arrow next to use iStock normally. Then choose the option, don't use iStock. This will produce all video footage with no still images. Shortly after you press generate, you'll be presented with these options. I'll select general public and professional, then YouTube video and continue. A few moments later, when your video is done, you can export. 
And again, for these to be high resolution with no watermark, you'll need to be on their paid subscription plan. And for the next step, you'll need to smash that like button for me as a thank you for putting this free tutorial together for you. And then simply repeat the process with the second half of the script. And once you have this downloaded, we can proceed. Now for this stage of the process, you are going to need to install a program called the Ultimate Vocal Remover. This is a large program and it will take about a half an hour to install, but trust me, this is a powerful tool that's essential for this process. Okay, once you have the UVR5 platform opened up, you need to select Input and Input Your Screen Recorded Video. And for the output, choose a destination on your computer that's easy to find. Now under Choose Process Method, you want to select Ensemble Mode. Then under Main Stem Pair, you want to select Vocals and Instrumentals. Then select Vocals Only, you also need to enable two models, so select the top two models available, then process your footage. This will take some time to process, but it's essential for avoiding any copyright strikes for the music used in the original videos. And at this point, I also take the vocal file produced and run it through Adobe's free enhanced speech software. Finally, you're ready to put everything together. For this stage, you're going to need a video editing platform. I use CapCut, and no worries if you're not familiar with video editing softwares because this is super simple and I'm going to walk you through every step. Alright, so once you have CapCut downloaded and the editor opened up, you want to create a new project. Here you can select Import, then Import your videos created with InVideo AI, as well as your enhanced voiceover. Then you want to drag and drop your video and voiceover onto the timeline. Now we need to make sure all the B-roll matches up with what's being said. The best way I found to do this is to mute one track at a time, then listen to them individually to see where their scripts correspond. This is necessary because InVideo AI will sometimes add additional script or rearrange the order of things. For instance, listening to the start of the InVideo clip. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to enjoy the grind, while others struggle to find joy in their daily efforts? The concept of effort, how it's perceived and how it varies among individuals, is truly fascinating. It's not just about mindset and mental toughness. There's a biochemical component at play too. This is where testosterone, a hormone you've likely heard of, steps into the limelight. You see, one of the major effects of testosterone is to make effort feel good. Then the beginning of the voiceover. The major effect of testosterone is to make effort feel good. That's what testosterone does. The real you can see the AI added a bit to the intro, so I'll remove this, and now all the visuals will correspond with the rest of the clip. So yeah, once you hear that you're talking about the same thing, then cut and arrange your clips accordingly. To make a cut, you simply place your cursor where you would like to make a cut, select the clip, and press Ctrl B. To undo your action if you've made a mistake, press Ctrl Z. And if you're not familiar, the spacebar will play and stop your video. Also, for precise cuts, use the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to click one frame at a time. This way, you can make clean cuts as scene changes as necessary. Now, after you've made all the changes necessary and your B-roll matches your voiceover, then you can go ahead and highlight all of your video clips. Right-click and select Extract Audio. Then delete this audio. And if you're subscribed to CapCut for the $8 a month, you can use their Auto Captions feature. Otherwise, you'll have to add the captions manually. Once the captions are generated, you can adjust the style and the text any way you like. I also walk through the captions, cutting any long phrases that are on one line by placing your cursor at the beginning and clicking enter. This will drop from your cursor beyond to the next line. So now we have everything cut in place, our captions done, and the video is looking pretty good, but there's one thing missing, some music. You can get your free music from YouTube's audio library or a site like Streambeats that offers copyright free music for YouTubers. Once you've downloaded a track or two that you like, you can import them here to your media and drag them into the timeline. Then to make sure you're not overpowering your voiceover, you're going to want to turn the volume down on these soundtracks to about negative 30 dB. I would also turn the volume of your voiceover up to about 7 decibels. Then I also use the loudness normalization tool. And to make sure you're within range and your bars aren't turning red or clipping, you can always bring up your decibel meter by selecting the meter box from the viewing window. If it's clipping here, then it will sound terrible, so avoid that. Also, to make the entire video look a little better, you can add some effects. For example, I like this sharpen effect, so I'll add this to the timeline, then stretch it across the entire length of the video. Adjust the settings to make everything look good, and voila! We have created a high-quality, long-form YouTube video. Alright, now we're ready to move on to creating our short-form videos. And really quickly, if you're finding value in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss any of these valuable tutorials in the future. Now, as promised, let me demonstrate a simplified method for creating your shorts in bulk. To accomplish this, we'll need to use a combination of ChatGPT and Canva. 
First, we'll feed ChatGPT the entire script from our video. Then just input this prompt here. And don't forget, all the prompts used in this video are written out for you in the guide that I mentioned earlier. ChatGPT will then spit out something that looks like this, but don't worry, this is just formatted properly for the next step. Simply copy this text and take it into a document. Once in your docs, select File, then Download as plain text.txt. And now pay attention as this step is crucial. You want to open the file you just downloaded by selecting Show in Folder. Then right-click your document, select Show More Options, then select Rename. Then you want to change the .txt to a .csv. This is going to bring up a warning, just accept as this is crucial. And finally, you need to open up a Google Sheets. Select File, then Import. Then move to Upload and upload your CSV file by double-clicking or dragging it onto the screen here. And if you didn't follow these steps, then you would have to manually enter all your data here box by box. So this is extremely helpful. Now you could download this sheet as a CSV. Okay, let's dive into the fun part, creating our videos in Canva. Once you're here, click on Mobile Video. Firstly, we'll work on the background. Just search for what type of background you want to use. For instance, I like space background, so I'll type in space and select from these options here. I like this one, so I'll click and remove this text. Then you want to head back to your Google Sheets and copy the first question and paste it back here. Drag the question to the top, adjust its size and font, and add a background. Then you also want to add a nice animation here. I like this one, so boom, we'll add this. Now just duplicate this text by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate or holding Alt while you drag. Then go back to your sheets again and copy the first option, paste it in this box. Change the animation to what you want all of your options to be, like this. Then duplicate this text box three more times and repeat the process, bringing in the next three options, B, C, and Option D. And for the answer box, I'll change the background to green. Increase the font size and change the animation. Then I also included an explanation section with my answer, so I'll duplicate again and change this background to black. Alright, so now we have everything here, but it's all jumbled together, so let's fix this. Starting with the question, right-click and select Show Timing. Then drag this back to about 2 or 3 seconds. Then move everything out of the way and highlight all four of your options. Right-click Show Timing and drag to just past where your question ends. Then drag the other side back to about 3 seconds from the end of the clip. Repositioning your answer, right-click Show Timing, and drag to just past your options, like so. Then again with the explanation will match the timing of the answer, maybe just a half a second later. Let's also add a timer here to help engagement. Again, just Show Timing and drag to where your question stops. There we go. Now when I play the video, you can see everything moves in nicely. Finally, we're ready to proceed. And this is where the magic happens. Click the Apps tab to find the Bulk Create tool, then select Upload CSV and upload your Google Sheets CSV file. Now just select any of your text boxes, then click Position and Show Layers. From here, select the three little dots and connect the data to the correct options. Repeat until all your options are connected, then press Continue. Now we manually built the first one, so I'll uncheck the first box and generate all nine of these shorts with one click. Bam! This is a huge time saver, and as you can see, this tool is perfect for these quiz style videos. And there you have it, we have successfully created one long form video as well as 10 corresponding shorts in a matter of minutes. Now it's all about getting creative and uploading to your channel regularly. I'm going to upload one or two of these long form videos with the corresponding shorts to this channel weekly. And if you guys want to see an updated video on how this channel is doing, then let me know in the comments. Oh, wait a second, we're not done. You're not quite ready to post yet, are you? You don't have any tags or descriptions for your video. No worries. Again, our friend ChatGPT has you covered. For the long form video, just copy the title and description from the original video, take it to ChatGPT, and ask it to make this more engaging with this prompt. And for the 10 short videos, just go back to your original doc of the questions and answers before you formatted them to a CSV. Copy it manually and paste it to ChatGPT. Then input this prompt. And there you go, 10 unique titles with their corresponding descriptions. Now for tags, I use vidIQ so I can just copy my competitor's tags this way, but you could also ask ChatGPT to give you tags. And here's a couple more things you need to consider before uploading. In the description of the long form video, you want to be sure to add a copyright disclaimer, just like the one you see in your competitor's descriptions. Also be sure to add some hashtags or keywords to the beginning of your description and title. Study the competition in your niche and don't be afraid to mimic proven strategies. Good luck with your new YouTube channel and if you need help with anything let me know in the comments. Thank you and be blessed.